you're probably wondering if it's time to stop fertilizing or if you should add more fertilizer before the frost finally hits and the snow begins to fall. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at when you need to stop fertilizing your garden and why fertilizer, whether it's organic or conventional, may be actually harming the ripening of the fruits that you do have. Fertilizers fall into two categories, synthetic and organic. Synthetic simply means it's highly bioavailable and no decomposition is necessary or no microbe activity is necessary to turn said nutrients into usable plant food. So if you're using synthetic fertilizer or highly bioavailable fertilizer, then there's actually three times in the season that you should fertilize. The first one being two weeks before you plant outside in May. The second one being actually in July after everything's germinated and started to establish. And the third being in mid-August. The exception of this rule is if you have potted plants in a soilless medium, such as a compost peat or a coconut coir. And these ones you would choose to actually fertilize once a week as directed on the packaging. But when you're dealing with actual physical soil the three times a year is more than enough when it comes to synthetics for compost we actually can apply as we see needed or necessary I classically say one application in the spring is more than enough and that application can be anywhere from half inch to one inch in depth and that is it that is all that you would need for that entire season up until the next spring now you're probably wondering what's the science behind why you would not fertilize in late summer or early fall that comes down to three kind of main topics the first one being that an influx of nitrogen or any sort of fertilizer will stop the dormancy of perennial plants so in the case of shrubs or trees or any sort of perennial things are starting to wind down and go into a dormancy as soon as late august this means if we decide to give in a massive influx of fertilizer we will speed up root growth and vegetative growth which may disrupt its ability to overwinter so if you're trying to reduce the effects of winter kill or just winter kill in general this may be something to consider in backing off on that fertilizer here at the end of august into the september months the next one is actually fruit ripening if you're having troubles getting things like tomatoes tomatoes or peppers to ripen or squash or zucchini whatever the case is you may want to consider backing off on the fertilizer an influx of nitrogen can trigger the plant into a foliage growing state rather than focusing on the fruits themselves now people will often say well then you should add phosphorus potassium calcium magnesium but none of those is going to change the ripening of said fruit and rather is going to change or deliver different mechanisms to that plant to cause it to spur vegetative growth your best option is actually just to continually water keep a nice heavy water supply up until the point that it is going to get close to your last for your first frost around one to two weeks and then you would back off of that water entirely let the plant do its normal cycle and don't give it a massive influx of fertilizer because this will delay the ripening of your fruits and could actually result in the droppage of fruit in the event that you over fertilize and the third one is that at the end of nearly any growing season Season, regardless of where you are things tend to be closer to a drought condition the spring is the time for snowfall or snow thaw along with spring rains and the end of the season is when the rains really truly back off resulting in a drier climate this is what plants are just naturally used to so the influx of fertilizer in these drought conditions can actually cause a fertilizer burn and this is more particular to people who are not under irrigation so for me my garden i guess that i have at the farm would be in fall into this category where fertilizing can actually cause a burning effect but something that is under irrigation you would just get that really explosive vegetative growth that would restrict against the fruit uh ripening or developing so that is something to keep in mind there um and obviously burn will not only just affect your foliage your roots but also the fruits or veggies that you are trying to develop on there so definitely something to keep in mind the fourth thing to consider is that fertilizer that is not used in particular nitrogen that is not used immediately and is bioavailable will be just washed away 
or gassed off into the atmosphere. So we call this leaching or volatilization is the other name for gassing off. And so this can end up in our waterways. Um, it can end up in ponds near your home, which can cause eutrophication and algae blooms. So that is probably the fourth reason that you may want to consider not fertilizing after kind of the end of August. I hope this video helped you guys out in determining when your last fertilizer date should be. Hint, hint end mid of mid august ish <laughs> for most of you that get a snowfall and i will talk to you guys next time bye